Hey, Landon, I'm so glad you're here to help us today to do the video. We're so excited okay, guys, about having you. Gonna, I'm going to just get right here. and uh, uh, Oh, I forgot the Bible. Uh, hold on. I got oh, my books. mom forgot the books of the Bible. Well, anyway, uh, oh, speaking of Bible, i got to go get my Bible. Hey, can you keep them busy till I get back? Okay, now you keep them busy. Um, I'm just going to play my video game. Okay. Hey, Landon, I'm so glad Okay, I've got him. Hey, and I got my Bible wanna, here. I found it. Thank goodness. You want to? Can't believe I forgot it again. Can, oh can my goodness. Show this to. Man, I'm trying to get you to do the books can, of the Bible. Landon. 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 We have not done the books of the Bible in, what, two or maybe three weeks now? I know, before Easter. That's right. So, kids, we want you to get your parents to freeze the video for a minute, and we want you to see how many books of the New Testament you can still do by memory. Yeah. In, in, in order now. Don't make sure, just don't, but make sure they're in order. Parents, you watch them. So, we're going to count to three, and you freeze the video, and then we'll come back. You ready, Miss Brenda, to get frozen? Here we go. One, two, three. Wow, that was kind of freezing. That was, I don't know about you, but I got cold on that one. That was a really good one. Yeah. How about that? Yeah. Hey, Miss Br uh, uh, Brenda, I thought, hey, I, oh, well, I guess he's not paying attention. You know what, Miss Brenda? Ooh, this remind, that reminds me of a story today. Oh, what's our, what's our whole our lesson whole about? Our whole lesson today is about listening to God's voice and doing what he says to do at that very moment, doing when we're supposed to be doing it. You know what? Because if we don't, if we don't do it, when we're supposed to. You know, we might miss our opportunity. Okay. So, has there ever been a time that you did something that um, was a you had to be there at the time that you had to be there ooh, in order to do what ooh, you had to do? Ooh, I remember one. I you remember did? one. Okay. You know what? what? I felt like God told us that we need to go to the amusement park. Oh, that sounds like a yeah, sure. God told you that, but He did. I felt like we were really supposed to go to the amusement park in Gulf Shores, and you know what happened when we were there? Take a guess. Um, you had fun? Well, we had fun, but you know what? I felt led to get me and the girls to get on the on the Ferris wheel. I don't know about you, but I like the Ferris wheel. It's fun. Gets up pretty high, though. Gets way on up there. But you know what happened to us, Miss Brenda, while we were on the Ferris wheel? We were all the way up to the top, and we stopped, and the Ferris wheel began to go, and I'm going, oh, no, I don't like this. But you know what? Because I was up there at the top, and we got stuck at the very tip top of it, I was able to see all the way down to the kitty roller coaster. And there was this little girl, guys, that was trying to get in the roller coaster. And guess what happened? It, boom, it just took off all of a sudden. And she's still there. And she's got she both was, hands on the side of the car. Was she in? No, she's on the outside of the car. Oh and she's goodness. getting drugged around and around and around oh. and around. And I'm going, ah! You know, and I'm and I'm like, God, please, in Jesus' name, help her, Lord, help her, keep her safe, God. And I was just watching his ass, and my heart was going, boo, 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 boo. man, my heart was just beating up in my throat. And wow! But you know what happened? What? She never even got a scratch on her. Isn't Did that it stop amazing? Finally? finally, it stopped after about two or three times around. And you know what? I really believe because God had me there to pray, she was okay. You know what? I know that because prayer works. That's right. God had you set up so that that little girl would be saved. See, Landon, I thought you were going to help us. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We got to focus. Never mind. So anyway, he's just over playing video game. But you know what? That reminds me of a story, Miss Brenda. Oh, okay. In the New Testament, in Matthew chapter 14, verse 22, it talks about that just before that, the disciples had fed. How many people do you think? It was 5,000 5, men. 5,000 men with, with, with two fish. Five, five loaves of yeah, bread. Five and loaves of bread two and fish. two fish. We, you know what I know? How? Because we taught that. That's right. Well, we got to hurry with the story know. because our time's running out. But you know what, Miss Brenda, what was so cool about that story? Jesus told the disciples right after that to go get in the boat and go to the other side. Now, they did what he said to do, and they got in the boat, and they got in, and right out in the middle, oh my goodness, right out in the middle, Miss Brenda, a big old storm came up, and there was lightning, and there was thunder probably, and there was wind, and the waves, and they began to go, whoa, whoa, and they were getting all over the place, and they were scared, and guess what, right in the middle of all that happened, Sorry. beside them going, ah! 
going to die. What else do you think happened? Well, they looked up and they saw somebody walking on the water. <gasps> Ooh, I don't know about you. And they were going, it's a ghost. It's a ghost. It's a ghost. It's a ghost. And they were scared. And you know what happened? All of a sudden, Jesus said. Was it a ghost? Not one ghost. It was Jesus. And he was walking on the water over to them. And he told them, peace. In other words, just be, be of good cheer. He said, for it is I. And you know what? Is that really in the Bible? That's really in the Bible. Where? Oh, it's in Matthew 14. You remember I told him all ago, Matthew 14, verse 22 oh. is where it starts. Oh, through okay. About 35, I think. Okay. But listen, Miss Brenda, you know what was really cool about the story? Peter said, Lord, if it's you, you know what? Then you just call me out here on the water. Uh, that's not smart. No, I don't know about you. But I would have been wanting to get out of that boat. I don't know about you. Jesus is, that was Jesus. And so Peter said, tell me to come. In fact, it sounded like Peter was almost taking his foot in his mouth, wasn't he? But you know what happened? <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know, but you know what happened, Miss Brenda? So Jesus told him to come. That's right. Peter got out on the water and guess what happened? He, he got out on the water. He, he got, got out, out on of the, the water. Boat. He got out of the boat and walked on the water. Glenn and I thought you were going to have... Oh, focus, folks. Anyway, okay. um, he walked on the water, and you know what happened? Until he started looking around and then big old waves and all that lightning and wind and all that stuff, and he began to sink, and he yelled, Help me, help me, I'm drowning! And Jesus sucked him up out of the water, and we could end the story there and say, boy, Peter didn't have no faith. But you know what, Miss Brennan? Peter was the only one that had enough courage to get out of that boat and go and walk on the I, water. I wouldn't get out of the boat. I don't know about you. It would have been hard for me to get out of that boat, too. I don't, look, Wait, man, he was, they were probably saying, scared. You're you know? saying that there's other guys in the boat? There that... were other guys in the boat. And you know what? Oh, they just right. sat there. They didn't get out of the boat. Peter did, though. Now, think about this. I, I just think about Peter walking on the water. You know, there's a lot of times that Jesus gives us opportunities. He really does, Miss Brenda. He gives us opportunities to, to, to do things. In fact, you know what? Well, I okay, rem can you remember a time? I mean, I'm thinking about the other disciples in right. the boat that didn't get out. So was there ever a time that you didn't do Ooh. what it was that you were supposed yeah. to do? I hate to tell, say, tell this story, but you know, back a long time ago when I lived over in Northeast Louisiana, uh, there was a time we had a, one of our uh, little girls from our church was in the hospital and she was, she was dying of leukemia. And I heard the Lord speak to me one day when I was driving on the tractor. He said, I want you to get off your tractor. I want you to get in your car and I want you to drive to, I think it was Memphis or Memphis. where? Is it Saint Memphis? Jesus. Yeah, St. James. That's right. To wherever it was in Tennessee, I want you to drive your car all the way up there and I want you to pray for her and she'll be healed. And I'm going, oh, uh, 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 well, I don't know, Lord. I mean, I, I, I'm not used to doing this stuff because I've never done anything like this before. And you know what? I thought those people would think I was crazy, Miss Brenda. So you know what? I did the next best thing. I told God, I said, you know what, Lord? i tell you what I'll do. I'll just call them. So I called him, got on the telephone, got him on. And he said, hey, I want to pray for your daughter. And I got the dad and I prayed with him. And everything, and, and, and I was like, boy, I was feeling good. Yeah, I got a hold of my prayer. Yeah, this is good, Lord. Yeah, this is going to be really good. And you know what? In two days, she got to come home because her cancer was gone. Wow. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Mm, but, you know, I kind of wish I could end the story there. But you know what happened? I, and the doctors really don't understand it. But in two days, she had some kind of fungus because of the leukemia that just it, it eventually took her life, Miss Brenda. And you know what? It was sad because you know what really sad me? Not all about losing her, but because of the fact that God had told me to go up there and to pray for her. And I thought because if I just compromised, it would be okay. You see, when God tells us to do something, we need to do it exactly what God tells us to do and not compromise, but be there just like Peter stepped out on the water and took the opportunity to come. Are you ready? Are we ready for what? For um the... The camera. Uh, the, talking about the video? The video, yeah. Uh, well, Landon, uh, I, I, I'm sorry, but, uh, uh, you know, we kind of already just done the video. Uh, yeah. you, you really wasn't Let's paying attention. Uh, uh, the video. But, but, uh. but that's okay. You know what? Hey, you know what, guys? We just want you to know. We just want you to know that we love you today. And you know what? We don't want you to miss opportunities when God gives you a great opportunity to do something awesome. So anyway... We'll take, take, love you and take care of yourself and we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.